I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. This is Dabu 7, August 29, 2013, and this morning the Obama administration has unexpectedly announced two new gun control measures, one including a ban on the import of military surplus weapons, which all of you collectors out there that like to collect all these weapons, you're no longer going to be able to do this. This is his way of stopping these guns from getting to the streets, he says. Now, it used to be that you could get away with doing this um, with U.S. allies. Private entities could you know, purchase any weapon they wanted. Um, now, they are looking to stop that 100%. So, with all of the distractions taking place around the world, um, he comes out of left field and comes with these two executive actions to add to the list. And he is also proposing a federal rule to stop those who would be ineligible to pass a background check from skirting the law by registering your gun to a corporation or a trust. So he's looking to close that loophole as well. So those are the two new executive actions that he has put into place as of today. But also at the same time, Harvard has a new gun study that just came out and is very interesting because it shows uh, from looking at several European countries that higher gun ownership often leads to lower murder rates. It says, in fact, the murder rates in Russia are four times higher than that in the gun-ridden United States. And it found no evidence to suggest that the availability of guns contributes to higher murder rates anywhere in the world. So those are some interesting statements right there from a study out of Harvard. I will leave links as always. Till next time, this has been Dabu 7. Eyes open.